Good day. Hi. Unbelievable, honey. <laughs> Unbelievable. Fellas, uh, we promised that you a long time ago the food tasting test. Uh, I'm not going to lie, we did it during the summertime, but uh, we were very, very special. We had all footage of Zoom because we, we are simply learning how to use the camera. So how the things went, uh, pretty much we, st we are starting everything from the scratch. You might see some shots from the previous, uh, from the previous recording speaking about how food is looking like, but we are pretty much ordered it. now. Majority of the Lithuanian starters, or not only Lithuanian starters, and how we are going to do the things we are going to taste them today. I believe you noticed that we have something clipped here and here, so please let us know how the sound quality is looking like because I believe there is still a bit of echo, but I hope this beautiful thing is going to make uh, quality so much more enjoyable. Uh, and now you might think, but skill, why the flying gap you did not um, record it in the bar? honey um yeah we didn't we did in the first time we recorded it in the bar and except the fact that the focus we had the focus problems with the camera at that point in the end when we watched the recording at home it occurred that there first of all there is music in the background which is very visible you know screams conversations of other people there was a lot of background uh, noise and obviously the music that is copyrighted and we would have we could have problems on the YouTube video with that so in the end we decided let's do it like that we will use some shots from the um, recording in the restaurant of the food so you will see how it looks like when it's served and we will just do the tasting at home when we have the conditions under control let's say yeah absolutely and also the current situation in the world what do i mean by saying that you get the point fellas you get the point you are smart cookies uh, also one more thing what i want to say i love you all okay let's start our journey honey yes. what do you think uh, i believe uh, okay you are choosing the first dish what you are seeing in front and fellas you are going to see the um, the zoom in shot uh, and how everything is looking like overall so yeah i think we should start with the bread because i believe this is the most um urgent thing to try to think about uh, so bread structure. won't get mushy yeah. okay fellas are you ready you are going to get the close-up shot right now So, you might think, what the flying F do we have? So, this, uh, this is like typical Lithuanian starter, or I suppose to say snack with a beer. Pretty much, this is a bread with a garlic, and this is bread with garlic plus cheese. Yeah, this is a thing that I first time tried in Lithuania. Uh, in Poland, we didn't have it, and for me, it was new. And it very fast became one of my favorite starters because it's really amazing. So we have two kinds of bread. Let's start maybe with the simple one. A simple, simple one it is. Simple one, which means only with garlic, right? Yes. Mm. The crunch is amazing. Mm. 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 Oh, you know what I noticed and what I remember? Hmm? We have a microphone, so now you can hear the crunch. <laughs> That's true. Mm. Very, very simple. Obviously, the best, this bread is the best when you are getting this freshly. So, for example, if you would go, um, if you would go to the restaurant, you would not be able to eat all this bread and uh, after that, you would think about taking it home. In home, it wouldn't be as good. It is still semi-warm, so it is okay, but uh, um, it is not as good as um, it is fresh. Yeah, and the second one, the second one uh, with cheese, I like more, personally. Mm, it has just more flavor. The first one is just like baked bread with garlic. And then here we have the, the cheese factor, and it makes things better for me. So let's go with this one. Hot, 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 hot. By the way, we definitely did not make microwave with it, okay? <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. 
you are losing the crunch effect though so if you are a crunch boy this is this is the bread which you want to eat yeah but at the same time it's important when you're getting it freshly even though it's with cheese in the restaurant it has more crunch than when we got it home and we also heated it right it it it, it lost the crunch Mm, but still it's amazing flavor wise for me mm. yeah I will go for another one I mean this is one of my favorite starters uh, flavor wise it's amazing for me it's like uh, I told that already this is like one of my favorite starters here beautiful question mm -hmm. for you fellas have you ever had baked bread like this uh, in your region and where are you from this would be very very interesting to know because once again mm, Vivi did not seen this in 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 poland mm. whatsoever I and mean, we are pretty much neighbors yeah i mean probably you can find it somewhere in some regions of poland probably but where i was in poland i never saw it like a standard you know popular dish that is repeating that that repeats in a different menu so yeah okay beautiful for a bread how would you rate uh, this bread and this bread from one to ten uh, this one would be i would give it ten this one i would give seven okay that's fair i would give it nine and i would give it probably probably seven um and also if you are curious from where we are getting this food uh, all links and the description is going to be in the description and we will tell the story about all the situation how we were filming the things and so on so on so we will have story time in the end we are back so what we have for a second dish, honey? Yes, uh, we have peas with cracklings and this is also the thing that I tried for the first time in Lithuania. I didn't know this starter either before. Close up for you right now. You can see it is everything in layers. There is a uh, peas, cracklings, there is uh, hot sauce, and there is uh, pretty much everything in layers. I want to show you magical trick. It is very, very important. Are you ready for magic? Yeah. She doesn't know what I'm going to I do. I know what you are going to do. You are going to do shake for us. Three, two, one. It's okay. I, I think it's okay. Oh, I'm tired, honey. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so what are the ingredients of this starter? Obviously, we have peas. We have some kind of smoked meat, I think. There is uh, there is chips, and we have some kind of tomato hot sauce. Basically, those those are the four main ingredients. And I really want to show you close up of mixed product as well. <laughs> You're awesome. Okay, let's uh, dig into it um, and let's try how it tastes like today. We know this dish already, obviously. Mm. And it's never bad. Honey, you're doing this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My bananas. Mm. You know, I'm trying to be elegant for a video, right? Mm. <laughs> mm. This is amazing. I can tell you one thing, whenever my father used to order this, um, my mother used to say for my father, you are going to sleep in the other room. <laughs> That's understandable. But since we eat it together, honey, it's okay, we can sleep together. Yeah, honey, it's completely fine, I will sleep on the couch, you don't need to worry whatsoever. <laughs> mm. Mm. The main thing that... Sorry? Take your time. The main thing that I can feel in here is the, the, a bit of the spice from the tomato sauce. The beans are very visible, but mainly I would say that the meat is dominating. It has a nice salty flavor and everything together is a great, great composition. I love this, the starter also. Pretty much this is one of the best things and Lithuania, at least in my opinion, is known by this. Do you have something like this in Poland? I, as I said, I've never tasted it in Poland before, so for me, it's new. 
now our lovely poles if you are watching this how dare you we have this meal in the other place <laughs> yeah yeah maybe somewhere close to lithuania border maybe in this region we can find something like this Okay, beautiful. Let's teleport to the next dish. Bam! Yeah, and we are going with another dish and this is also one of my favorites. I mean, to be fair with you, probably most of those things are one of my favorites, but this is a really good one. So, and this is a very simple one also. Wait till the end, she will change her mind. I bought, well, we took something what we will do not enjoy and this is going to be a good one. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, in here we have... Um, those are just cooked potatoes, I believe. Boiled. Boiled potatoes, and so very simple. And with that, we have a sour cream, um, which is super simple, but the flavor of this mix together is amazing. Let's see the close up, maybe. Absolutely. Also, one more thing which I want to mention, this is homemade, so they are doing um, everything in-house pretty much. And without further ado, let's start our journey. Hop! Yeah, so honey, as a true Lithuanian, tell us how we're supposed to eat this. I've never seen anybody eating this like that. Mm. Oh wow, it's so delicate, mm. it's so soft, the cream is just melting. It is melting so much, I cannot even put it on the potato. This is how mm. villagers eat. Mm. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. The sour cream has also kind of strong garlic flavor, right? It has garlic, it has, um, um, well, kminek. Kminek, you know? uh -huh. yeah. And how is it in English I language? I have no clue. Those are those mm, small brown. Yes, kminek. Yes, kminek. Absolutely, yes. And I know one thing you cannot stand it, but it goes well with this dish. It's, it's perfect for me. I would eat it anytime, anywhere. Amazing. No, she would take the potatoes and she would say potatoes it is. By the way, uh, we forgot to rate the previous dish and this dish, previous dish, quick, rating, what, what rating, rating. Peace, 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 ah, peace. Ten. Peace is 10, yeah, definitely. This, this one, nine. Seven. Oh, really? How could you? This is amazing. The one. thing is, uh, potatoes could be, ba uh, instead of being boiled, potatoes could be uh, cooked in the pan and then it's, and then it would be 10. But overall, um, the cream tastes very, very, very nice. Yeah, I mean, like the main part of this dish is still for me cream because it, it is the richest talking about the flavor. So I agree with you. Maybe if potatoes would be made differently, it would be better, but still sour cream is making it nine for me. Very nice. Okay, next dish, teleportation. Next dish, fellas. Uh, and this is very, very interesting one, although this is definitely not Lithuanian dish or at least origin wasn't um, in Lithuania, let's put that in this way, or it's not that popular. So pretty much what do we have? We have uh, black bread, we have plum, we have cheese and we have the, some kind of berry, grape, on top, some kind berry. of wild beer. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that's about it. Fellas, do you want to see a close up? Let's go. Um, okay, let's try that. I can tell you immediately, um, this is not my favorite. It is the best dish ever. She, she doesn't know what she is saying. Cheers, honey. Mmm, <laughs> that beauty on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, when we are done chewing, <clears throat> this is created, um, this is like a snack with a wine. It has quite interesting flavors, but uh, in the same time, it's not the best dish ever. And you know, um, you would order this only if you have a glass of wine. Yeah, what is very nice about it, I have to say, is the structure of the bread, which is also baked, so it's, it has a crunch. And the cheese is for sure 
cheese <laughs> and the bread is sorry and the cheese is for sure mixed with garlic so you also can feel like the garlic but mixed with the sweet plum so you have you know some kind of mixture it's okay why I don't like it I need to explain myself I wouldn't say I don't like it why I don't like it that much is because I am not a fan of plums that's it that being said your rating no six Four, yeah, it's not that bad because cheese is making Unbelievable. it Unbelievable. I would give it I, six. I would rate it seven. Honestly, it is looking completely fine. But once again, if you are in Lithuania, you are thinking about this. This is not the thing to go for. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, now we have a very, very typical Lithuanian and actually Polish, Polish dish too. as well. Mm. This is the situation which uh, you would have if you are going to your babushka deep in the village mm. uh, for a Christmas or something and she would definitely do the herring with um, uh, with uh, some some padding or however to say this yeah with some ingredients yeah yeah we have two versions of herring here uh, and one is kind of similar to Polish uh, and the second one is new for me so in Poland we usually and this is every family party every birthday every Christmas every anytime anywhere we are having herring with onions. In Poland, it's like very traditional standard meal. I don't like onions. Yeah, uh, but in here it's served also with cream, I guess. I have no bloody clue. We I'm ordering see. this for a very first <laughs> time in my life. Yeah, and we have the second herring. It looks like it's with onions and carrots, so it may be sweeter, but we don't know yet. Let's try. Uh, close up. Yes! <laughs> Let's try! Oh! No? No, which, which one? one? I am more curious about the, the, the per, blah, 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 orange one. Orange one. I this love is, herring. This is how is it looking like. I don't know, can, can it be zoomed in or not, but mm -hmm. cheers. It smells so nicely. Mm, wow! Mm. Okay. What I don't like, I don't like the the bones of the fish. That's what I don't like, and it is it is disturbing a bit, right? But obviously, if you are taking your time to put it out uh, or to take everything out, it is completely fine. Um, overall, this is very, very, very nice. So we are tasting orange one. Mm -hmm. It mm, kind of reminds me that for Polish people, for sure, they will know. In Poland we have a fish, also different fish, that we call Greek fish and basically it's in that kind of... Um, with, it's served with this kind of additional so you have carrots with onions and it has sweet flavor and this is literally the same thing but in here it's served with herring so you have the salty herring with sweet carrots and for me this mixture is amazing I thought you don't like sweet things honey sweet and sour in the same time and here it works very well I'm also surprised yeah I am surprised but it works very well easy game okay the other one boom so this one no I am less excited <laughs> I am less excited about this one but let's see <laughs> Okay, this is this is looking completely differently. I can tell you that I will take half of the herring and you know what but Stop do, cheating. No, what do you mean? Stop cheating. I'm even taking onion. I don't like onion. Oh, there's a lot of onions as for you. No He Cheers. took more onions than herring Very crunchy, speaking about onions. And they have like a pure raw onion taste, but since it is a... Mm, since it is a pink onion, it is a bit... Uh, it is a bit better. Uh, anyways, what is the weirdest thing for me with this dish? Why the flying yep, would you have cream? Yeah, this is new. Because herring with onion is literally like the Polish one. Even though in Poland we, get, we, we give white onions to that, I mean, flavor is, doesn't change, okay? It doesn't matter if this is red or white onion. The flavor is the same. The cream is a new factor in, in, in this meal. But it's not bad, it's okay. It's not bad, it is okay, but uh, it, it is still quite weird. Uh, how you rate this? Carrot, uh, herring with carrot, I would give like eight. 
six because I'm not a big fan of the carrot. And in here for me it's standard herring, uh, I would give it five. Three. It was it was weird combination of the things, so for me it's not not that great. Boom. Okay, let's go for another dish. Another dish. Uh, we have we have quite some things. Okay. I, what I am not looking the most forward, but let's do this. So, fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have two soups. Onion after onion. Onion after onion. So, um, it is onion soup. It two is, versions. Yeah, two versions. But I can tell you that this soup uh, is... Uh, it has a long story, let's say like this. Pretty much the soup is made out of onions and out of remains of the fish. What do I mean by saying that? Fish head and everything else. So it is a poor people uh, soup. This is how it's called. I'm not joking, fellas. Uh, this is a story behind it. And this one is pretty much the same, but they are using kefir instead of using water. Uh, when we have done a recording before, uh, during the summertime, I truly did not really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, for the sake of your entertainment, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to do this. Let's go with the close-ups. Okay, so as you saw in the close-ups, they have literally the same ingredients. The only difference is water versus kefir. Good luck, honey. Which one do you want to start? I think this one is worse. <laughs> I think kefir is worse, so Good I will start with the worst one. I, I believe we are we are not we are using one spoon for a maximum pleasure. Honey, don't breathe. Давай, go, go, go. Mm. Oi. <laughs> the second flavor is worse than the first one. Don't get us wrong. It's not a bad dish quality-wise. It's just not the flavors that are <laughs> enjoyable for either me or scale. Okay, let's try the second one and then we will tell you what we think and what is the experience. This is 10 out of 10. It made me <laughs> gag. I, 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 I actually thought I'm going to... Holy bananas, fellas. This is, this is disgusting, honestly. It is not badly made. My parents are eating this all the time. I mean, holy bananas, but this one it was just too much. This I is mean, much better. It made me hug, gag, gunny. Uh, <laughs> okay. Go with this one. Go with it, this one. Yeah, it will make things a bit better. <laughs> oh, come on. That is catching <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. So, basically, what you are eating, you are eating fish with onions. Those are two very strong dominant flavors. Yes. And in the version with on water, made on water, it is bearable. If you like onion, if you like fish, it is bearable, it's very strong, it is kind of sour, it is spicy, it's bearable. For me, with kefir, it's too much. I mean, those are three very strong flavors mixed together, and for me, this one is not enjoyable at all. I believe, uh, if you did not understood what I meant um, before, okay, we will explain what, what we have happening inside of this dish. Uh, could we please roll the footage of me? <laughs> Thank you. When we have this out of the way, beautiful. Uh, I would rate this one. I would rate this one. I would rate this one, uh, the one on water, on three. And to be so, you would order this. Uh, this. Uh, I wouldn't meal. order it, but I wouldn't say it's like one. 
it is not bad. And I believe, for example, my parents would eat it with a big smile on their face. Absolutely. The taste-wise, what I want to say, the taste-wise, it is absolutely amazing. I am rating as a, a, I am rating this as a dish overall, you know. And if I do not like something, I can't say, well, I love it. I mean, uh, I hate it, but it is 10 because it's well made. I just don't like those things and it, it made me gag. That's the main reason why. Although, like I said, quality of those products are top-notch. Yeah, so for me, water one is three, this one is one. Both of them won. <laughs> Maybe let's try to go with something better now, huh? <laughs> salad time, fellas. Uh, this is very, very, very typical salad um, for a Christmas table. And once again, close up of the salad now. And the other one salad is the one which I fell in love recently. I actually like the flavor of it. It is pretty much mayo, uh, cheese and uh, mayo cheese. I mean, with all respect to that dish, obviously, but it looks a bit like a student's, student's meal. You know, when you have in the fridge mayo and you have cheese and you are little, literally mixing it together. And there's also egg, I believe. Right? Absolutely. Egg and we have a bread. Uh, to that yes, salad, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Very Beautiful. nice. Are you ready to taste it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, about the first one, uh, this is very common in Poland, as I said about the herring. This is next to the herring in Poland on, on the table at every Christmas family party, whatever. This is a very, very uh, traditional salad. Basically, it's made out of corn, peas, a bit of meat, carrot, it's like the mix of the vegetables with a bit of meat and everything is just... Uh, it's floating in mayo. Yeah, indeed. Okay. And this is, uh, I'm not sure if in this version we have it, but in Poland we also have cucumbers inside, like pickles. So it, it gives like a sour flavor. You have cucumbers here. Mm -hmm. Like Like your mother's or not, be honest. Also, honey, I am a bit disappointed. You are not eating normally. Cheers. <laughs> it's, mm. it's not like my mom's, but it's very similar. And this is this is one is a bit more sour. But in general, I mean, the ingredients are the same. The flavor is very similar too. This is very simple and you can get a Christmas taste. Honestly, I would highly recommend to taste it if you are ever going to be in Lithuania. Just homemade salad. And now, option yeah. uh, option number two. Yeah. This is how it looks like. Oh, yeah. I see. And pretty much, once again, you have seen the close-up of this. And look at this. You are getting sh amazing amount of the... That's for me? Absolutely, yes, honey. I mean, normally. Opa. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, I am... Pay attention, fellas. Pay attention. Pay attention. <gasps> <laughs> mm. Wow, that was a lot. That was a lot of salad. Mm. I love cheese. For me, it is amazing. Yeah, it's very simple with bread. It's okay. I think, I mean, it would be good as a snack, you know, when you're having a beer or something. It would be completely fine. It's not very fancy. I mean, it's made out of the simplest ingredients possible. But, but it's good. In flavor, it's okay. I just had too much of it. <laughs> too much, honey. There is nothing too much. You saw how I saved you and how I got another spoon of it. It was amazing. Okay, rate this and this. Seven. Eight. Mm, this one is six. Eight. Mm. I like them equally. Okay, uh, we have only one product, yeah, actually two products two. left, and we uh, left best for the last. Okay, mm, the product that, or the meal that is one of my favorites, and I think it's one of your favorites too. No, it is my favorite. Of all this, this is my favorite. 
Mm. Uh, it's like probably next to zeppelins that you are going to see in one of the next videos. It's one of the most traditional classic Lithuanian dishes. And even in Poland we have it and it's called Lithuanian bars or Lithuanian soup. So um, this is like must try if you are in Lithuania. And in Lithuania it would be called Shalti Barshche. <laughs> no, it is pretty go. much called beetroot soup. Honey, I will give you an honor. This is the soup which you are um, tasting uh, during the summertime and it's hot outside and you want to pretty much chill uh, and just simply refresh mm. your, uh, your palate if I can say so. It is absolutely amazing. That's it, only one bite. Honey, I am disappointed. What is important is this, this is a cold soup. Mm. We didn't say that, this is a cold soup and this is soup called, um, based on the kefir as well. Usually um, special kefir. Yeah, and basically what you can find inside this soup um, is beetroot, radish, cucumber, chives. It's like a mix of vegetables. Plus on top of that, you are getting potatoes for yourself. Um, we just simply, we are not using potatoes at this point. And it is absolutely amazing for us. Mm. <clears throat> Pretty much it is like a borscht, but cold version, you know? Yeah. In a way. It's no doubt my favorite Lithuanian soup. It's amazing. 10. 11. <laughs> this, is, this is the best product you can get, undoubtedly. The best thing ever, fellas. Um, this is going to be beautiful. This is truly going to be beautiful. You don't believe in me? Close up, please. Oh, okay. So, uh, honey, do you want to say what is this? Yeah, this is the thing that I am the most afraid of. I tried it in my life like three times. Every time I gagged. Oh, come on. For me, this thing is just absolutely not pleasant in the texture, in the structure, and it is cow's tongue. It's a beef tongue, or, which is also in Poland, it's a de delicacy in a way. And people love that product. For me, Nina, I don't want to, I don't want to smell it. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's hard to look at it because you can see the tongue, okay? You can see the, the structure of the tongue. For me, it's really, 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 disturbing and I am I would never never ever order it from myself she's complaining way too much yeah it is it is a tongue fellas uh, overall the flavor of the tongue is not looking that uh, it is not that bad and overall it is it is pretty much like a proper meat no honey no, I, I will I, mean, I will cut it for myself as much as I am able to not to puke next to the camera <laughs> and this is served it's served with some kind of, this is a horseradish? A horseradish, exactly. Okay, so it's served with the horseradish sauce. Oh yeah. I gagged already myself, okay? So it is completely fine. Just put a lot of horseradish and you won't feel anything. Mm, this is my plan in a way, but I know I will suffer after it. But uh, this is how I have to do it. Okay, guys, cheers. Three, Let's two, try. one, cheers. I mean, not bad. like a beef it has a flavor of the beef but I also can smell very strongly the the smell of it I can feel it very strongly and I can feel on my tongue the structure of this tongue smell is pretty horrible honestly I, I sniffed it and I pretty much almost gagged myself and I actually like the tongue uh, it is not that, um, it is not bad of a dish and I am, uh, I am used for this in a way, you know, you are getting a fresh ha horseradish and um, it is absolutely amazing, but this time it was eh. 
let's say, yeah, you want to close it, honey? Yeah, it really? smells. It smells very badly. <laughs> I mean, guys, this is something that many people love, and many people treat it as a super snack. You know, something Absolutely. super amazing. Mm, and I also think that you can get this tongue in many different versions. This one is like cut in the slices, like for a sandwich or something. But I believe you can get it fried, you can get it whatever. However you want. Yeah, so there are many versions of dish using that piece of meat. And it's very common in Lithuania, in Poland also, people like it. It's just for me, I cannot stand it. I don't mind it, I would give it five. Yeah, no, I would give, I am giving it one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two. one, for a horseradish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also, I mean, it has a bit of the, it has a bit of the beef flavor. So, you know, I like beef as a, as a meat in general, so I can feel a bit of it. That's why two, not one. And fellas, this is in a way our first pancake speaking about the um, food tasting videos and everything. I wish to say we could record everything in the restaurant and everything, but uh, unfortunately it is not the, the case. Um, and yeah, that's what we have, fellas. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we have. For the ending, what I believe we have to say is that all of the meals that we ordered, we ordered from the place that we consider like the best place in the region to try Lithuanian kitchen. This place is amazing. We've been there many times and every time we eat there, the food is just super quality. It's it is amazing. amazing. It is pretty much homemade food. And the place is obviously called Ku Ku Dra. If you will ever be in Lithuania and you will be in this region, I would highly recommend to go to that place, honestly. And there is a story, we met even owner when we recorded everything and he was surprised how, you, uh, how someone can give a shout out for free, right? Because we are obviously paying for uh, all products, for everything. Uh, um, and those people are absolutely amazing and uh, they are delivering a good product. So if you will ever be in, uh, in Lithuania or if you are Lithuanian yourself, I would highly recommend to go to that place. Ku, ku, dry it is. So yeah, thank you very much for watching fellas. Let us know in the comment section down below what we can improve and uh, very important, let us know how is the sound quality because we have new microphones today and it's going to be different and we would like to know if there is something wrong with it or maybe it's completely fine. Just give us the feedback, you know, we want to make um, the quality as good as possible. The most important thing is uh, I need to know how, uh, how did you enjoy me gagging and washing with <laughs> the mouth. It is super important and this is, the, this is the thing which we need to do, so let's do this. Thank you. Thank you for being here and see you next time. Honey, tongue.